Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to 31 Days of Pompoween. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Pompberry, and this month I'm releasing one new video a day. So it's about that time to hit that subscribe button so you can see all the Halloween goodness that's going to be happening here on this channel. If you're not new here, then welcome back. Thank you for tuning in to another day of Pompoween. Today, I decided to throw it back to my childhood, and I'm going to be doing Blossom from the Powerpuff Girls. And I don't want to give any spoilers, but you can probably guess what the next few looks are going to be. And let's get started, shall we? I have combination skin, so I'm going to be using two different primers today. You can see that my forehead is really shiny, so I'm going to go in with the Milk Makeup Blur Stick just to get rid of that shine. Boom, it works wonders. I'm just gonna use that wherever I'm typically shiniest, around my nose and my forehead. I think that's it. And I'm gonna be going for a very monochromatic look today. I do want my skin to look rosy and glowy. So I'm gonna go in with the, I don't know how to pronounce this brand, Rodial, Rodial? I don't know, but it's the Soft Focus Glow Drops. It's an illuminating ultimate glow primer and it is pink. So I'm just going to apply some of that onto my cheeks and chin and it gives a very soft glow it's very natural nothing too extreme so to make it a little more extreme i'm going in with the ritual defeat metamorphic highlighter in the color high priestess this was unfortunately a limited edition highlighter but i thought it would add a really nice glow to the skin i'm just going to apply it basically on my cheekbones and i'm really working it into the skin because this has kind of like a balmy consistency and i don't want it to get in the way of the foundation i just want to get that glow kind of coming from within. I'm also gonna put it on my chin, tip of my nose, just wherever I typically highlight. Holy shit, that was my phone. And I'm applying this before foundation just so I can get that nice dewy glow coming through. And I would typically apply some on my temples, but I'm gonna have bangs down, so not gonna worry about that. Now, before I go in with my foundation, I like to color correct my blemishes and my under eyes. So I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Yellow Corrector. And I just apply that to all my little blemishes that I want to conceal, all my redness, and under my eyes. And I just like blending it out with my finger. I like the warmth of my finger to move the product and really melt it into my skin. You can see that takes care of all my little blemishes. Once I've color corrected, I'm going in with my foundation and today I'm using the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation in the color 1.15. I'm just going to dot that on with my finger. I typically use two pumps for my face and then I go in with a sponge and just blend it out. Hopefully we'll be able to see that pink glow coming through a little bit. I obviously don't want to turn my face pink, but I do want to hint at a pink glow because as I said, it's going to be a very monochromatic look. Lots of pink, which I usually run away from. I don't wear pink at all in my day to day, but I'm doing this for you guys. Next up is concealer and I'm going to go in with the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer in the color Vanilla. I'm just going to conceal any little blemish that needs an extra bit of help. The foundation didn't cover. And then I like blending this out with my fingers as well. I'm also gonna go in with the ColourPop concealer just to really create a base for my eyeshadow. Just blend that all over. Next, I'm gonna set everything with the Milk Makeup Blur and Set Powder. And I just do some strategic powdering. I just powder under my eyes, around my nose, and my forehead. And I'm going to powder the tops of my cheeks a little bit because I am going to be using a lot of powder products. And so I want to make sure they don't cling to the wet foundation. Then I'm also going to go in with the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder Foundation because it is really, really matte. And I just like to use that just on my forehead to really mattify. You can tell where I apply it. It just instantly mattifies it. Now I'm going to do a little bit of contouring with the Koki Powder Contour Palette. I'm going to start with this one over here because it's pretty cool toned. I just want to contour my cheekbones ever so slightly. I don't think I mentioned before but I am doing like a grown-up version and I do want Blossom to have cheekbones. I think she would have very nice cheekbones. I'm also going to take that on a smaller brush to contour my nose and I am going to try to do like the little button nose contour. So I'm going to do a line across like that to make it seem 
Like I've got a little button nose. The main reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to be doing freckles next. And I think they look really cute with a little button nose. Also, make sure to contour under to really help with that little button effect. Bring that all the way up into the eyebrows. And I'm also going to contour my chin a little bit. And under my bottom lip. I'm actually kind of contouring kind of like a circle on my chin. Just to make it a little bit rounder. Here, I'll look close now. Hi. Now I'm going to take the NYX eyebrow marker in the color medium so I can draw the freckles. And what I like to do is I just draw a few little freckles and then I tap them to blend it into the skin and make them look more natural. And you want to do different shapes and different sizes if you really want to make it look natural. For this look, it doesn't have to be too natural. I don't mind if it's a little bit cartoonish because after all it is blossom, but I still like to keep a little bit of realism. You can also use freckles to help contour. So you can concentrate the freckles around the contour of the nose and make them more sparse everywhere else. So I'm really going to concentrate them where I did that line and then do other little random ones like on the bridge of the nose. And I'm going to start bringing it onto the cheeks. If you have any pimples, this is a great opportunity to cover them up with a little freckle. I've got one here that I can just cover up like that. The reason I'm doing freckles is because she's a redhead. I'm also bringing the freckles a little bit onto my forehead, just in between my eyebrows. I also want to do some on my chin as well. It's very little ones. And if you ever think you've gone too hard or done too much, you can take your beauty blender and then just tame them down a little bit. Next up for eyebrows, I'm going to go in with the Morphe 350 palette. And I particularly really like using eyeshadows for my eyebrows. I'm going to be mixing a few different colors. I'm going to start with something like this that's pretty light and I can control the intensity. And as you can tell, my eyebrows are bleached. That is exactly so I can change up their shape and color whenever I please. Oh, that's actually the perfect color, I think. And for Blossom, I don't want to do anything too crazy with my eyebrows. I'm going to do them pretty straight and round it out. If you have really dark eyebrows and want to do this, I would recommend using like a brow pomade or a cream product that will coat your brow hairs and change the color of them. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of this color just to darken the ends. just want to define that end a little bit more. I like to keep the start of the brow nice and soft. Then I'm just going to take a little bit of concealer and just clean up and sharpen the end here. This is optional. I just felt like it needed a little sharpening up. Be sure to blend out that concealer. You don't want a stripe under your eyebrow. Before I forget, I'm going to go in with some lip balm. I'm using the Tatcha Camellia Gold Spun Lip Balm. This one is very fancy. It's got some gold running through it and I'm just gonna put some on before I continue to make sure my lips are nice and moisturized by the time I get to doing my lipstick. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start my eyes. I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Ooh La La palette. This is actually my first time using it. I'm gonna start off with softcore on my crease. It's reading a lot more baby pink than I thought it would. I thought it would be really, really muted. I'm also going to run that under my eyes, just really making sure I blend it out well. This is going to be my first transition shade. Next, I'm going to go in with Poodle on a slightly smaller brush and really concentrating that in the crease. Oh, wow, that reads a lot brighter than I thought. Interesting. I thought these would be much more muted tones. I thought the pops of bright pink would be these. Seems like these are pretty strong too. I think to mellow this out a little bit, I'm going to go in with the Creepy Cute Palette by Strobe Cosmetics. And I'm going to go in with the color Strawberry Milk. And I'm just going to apply that all along the edge. Kind of tone it down a little bit and help blend everything out. I'm keeping the shape of the eyeshadow quite rounded. I'm not bringing it 
out in a point. I'm keeping it very rounded and close to the eye. Now for my lids, I'm gonna go in with the Smashbox and Hood Witch Cover Shot Crystallized Eye Palette. I'm gonna be using the color Light Twerker, which is this baby pink right here. I'm gonna try applying that with a brush. Mm. Yeah, I don't like applying shimmers with brushes. I'm just gonna go in and dip my finger into it. And I'm just gonna pack that on. Probably work better if wet, or if I had a sticky base underneath. I'm gonna try wetting it a little bit. See how that goes. A little bit better. I'm gonna intensify my crease with the color Trove. I'm taking it on a pencil brush so I can really just concentrate it where I want it. I'm also applying that on my lower lash line and using soft core to blend it out and back in with strawberry milk to blend that out even more, really soften up the edges. Now I'm going to take the shade Tickled on my inner corner. Whoa, my brush destroyed it. Very, very soft. I'm just going to pat that into my inner corner. Ooh. Quite shimmery. Blending it out a little bit. Then to give the lids a little bit more oomph, I'm gonna go in with the Black Moon Cosmetics Luna Topper. This can be used on the eyes, on the lips, pretty much anywhere. And I'm going to swipe that on and then I'm going to lightly blend it out. But I think it did kind of disturb that shadow a little bit. So that Luna doesn't disturb the eyeshadow underneath. I'm gonna take it on my finger and just Pat it on ever so slightly, just all over the lid. Then once that's dry, I'm taking the Black Moon Cosmetics Black Metal Palette Volume 1, and I'm taking Abracadabra on my finger, just patting that over top Luna to intensify that shine even more and give it more dimension. Then I'm also going to take Abracadabra on my fluffy brush and apply it to my brow bone. I'm gonna leave my eyes alone for now. They're not done yet, but I'm gonna move on to the cheeks. And I'm gonna go in with the NYX blush in the color Baby Doll. And it's this very kind of bubblegummy pink. And I'm gonna start applying that on the apples of my cheeks and bringing it towards my nose. Kind of as if I were sunburnt a little bit. I'm also gonna take that under my nose on the very tip and where I contoured my nose too. I'm gonna take it on a smaller brush and add to my nose contour with it. Also adding it to the bridge of my nose, blending it out. I'm also gonna take the NYX Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette and I think I'm gonna mix these two colors and add that on top to just bring a little bit of peach to the cheeks. For a more natural kind of flush. I'm using mainly this one now on my nose. I'm also going to use it on my chin. And I'm blending it out towards my eyeshadow, kind of connecting the two. And I'm taking that color on a smaller brush to really add to the nose contour. I'm going to add it to my nostrils as well. Add a little bit more of that baby doll blush. Whoa, that's a lot, and it's so pigmented. I look like I have a cold, which is fine. Then I'm gonna go in with softcore and do some shading around my lips. I'm gonna start by doing the outer corners under my bottom lip and above my top lip. This is just a cute little detail that I like to do to most of my character makeup looks. It will make more sense once I put the lipstick on. For now, I basically just have a little pink mustache. I kind of want to try and go in with the color Opulent. Even though it is a satin finish, I want to try adding it to my crease and under my eye. Oh, I think that works pretty well. Whoa, that is bright, bright pink. Ah, just going to blend that out. I think I'm going to go in with the Dose of Colors Blushing Berries palette. And I'm going to start off with this color, mainly because these are really, really pigmented. They always go on darker than I think they will. So I kind of just want to tone that down. Not down, but I just want to deepen this without making it go too kind of electric pink. So that's why I'm reaching for this palette because these tones are very muted. Then I'm going to try going one up. I'm going to try going with this one. See, now it's getting a little bit darker than I had imagined this look would be. 
but I think it's still okay. I think what's throwing me off is the peachy blush. I'm just gonna blot it down a little bit. And I'm gonna add this blush to kind of brighten the blush up a little bit and make it match the eyes a little bit more. Okay, I like that a little bit better. Then I'm gonna go back in with my Creepy Cute and the Strawberry Milk and really just intensify it around the edges. To add a little extra something something to the inner corner, I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Starlit Diamond Powder in the color 111. But first I'm going to apply the NYX Glitter Primer because this is kind of like a very, very fine glitter. I'm going to take that on a little flat brush and just pat the primer on wherever I want the powder to stick to. And then I just pat it over top. Oh, that is so pretty. Adds a nice little, little sparkle. Now for my highlighter, I'm going to take the Kaja Beauty Mochi Glow Highlighter in the color Prism. And it's got this beautiful kind of soft pink finish. It is a little glittery, but because it's Blossom, I don't mind too much. Normally, I don't like highlighters that have glitter in them. But because this is a character look, little glitter never hurt anyone. I'm also going to add a little bit of that to the brow bone to just marry everything together. I'm going to add it to my chin, to my cupid's bow, to the tip of my nose, and to the bridge of my nose. Now I'm going to do a little bit of a cat eye with the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. I'm going to make it thicker on the outer portion of my eye. I'm leaving it kind of short and stubby. Stopped to eat some jackfruit and now my hands are all sticky. Shouldn't have done that, but I was hungry. Am I wrong to feel that I need a little bit of glitter on these lids? I don't know, that's just me. I think a little bit of glitter would go a long way. Mm. Alright, I decided to go for some glitter and I'm going to go with the Lit Cosmetics Spring Fling in size number 2. And I'm taking a little bit of my NYX Glitter Primer again. And then I'm just going to concentrate it on the center of my lid. Picking that up with the same brush and just patting it where I want it. Oh boy, that is so sparkly. That's funny, it's got like a green sparkle to it, but it's pink in the jar. I thought it would give off a pink sparkle, but it looks cute. Not mad at it. I'm gonna leave lashes for last and I'm gonna move on to my lips. Okay, I tried like a million different pink lipsticks and my lips are pretty raw at this point, but I think I've settled on a combination that I like. I'm gonna start with the ColourPop and Hello Kitty Ultra Satin Lip in the color Lock Diary. I'm gonna take that on a little brush so I can do the contours of my lips. And to get a really cutesy pouty lip shape, I really like to overline my cupid's bow and the outer corners, but I don't overline the rest. Then once I'm happy with the shape, I'm going to fill it in with the Ink of Elation lipstick in the color Cream Soda. And this is a much more cool toned kind of baby pink. I'm just going to fill that all in and then use my brush to blend the two together. Then I'm going to take that dark color again and just apply it the inside of my lips to really give a pouty effect. Then I'm going to also blur out the outer edges. Have it blend in with that shadow that I added earlier. I'm going to intensify that a little bit. Then I'm going to take my concealer on a teeny teeny tiny brush and I'm just going to create a little outline around the lips. And you'll still see that pink shading but now there's a little line separating it from the contour of the lips and I'm actually going to bring that around here so that you can see then to finish off the lips, I also want to add a gloss from the ColourPop Hello Kitty collection. This is in the color Super Cute. I think that just gives a nice little touch of shine. Now that the lips are done, I'm going to finish off the eyes and then that's it. I really want to emphasize the eyes, so I'm going to go in with the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk and I'm going to just line my waterline with that. This is definitely my go-to white pencil. You can see why. Because Buttercup has huge eyes, I definitely want something that will make my eyes look bigger than they actually are. Now I'm just going to go in with some mascara. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. Just because I haven't used this in a really long time. I'm trying to use up all the products that I haven't used in a while to see if I want to keep them in my collection or clear up space for new products. Yeah, I don't know if this mascara is doing it for me. I don't think so. 
and I have to switch over. I'm just gonna go in with my trustworthy Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I really want my lashes to be super black and super intense, and I know that this will do the trick. See, look at that difference. I do want very kind of cartoony lashes, so I am piling it on thick. Now for fake lashes. For my top lashes, I'm using the Rouge & Rogue Belle de Nuit lashes. And for my bottom, I'm using the Elevation Lashes in the style Freedom 7. And I think I'm just going to do three little accent lashes on the bottom. And then the third one, I'm actually going to do it right in the center. I think it gives a cool little touch to the look. Okay, now I'm going to let down my hair, grab my bow, and I'll be right back. And this is the finished look. Got my little bow, got some clip-on bangs. My wig does not have bangs originally. And yeah, Blossom's all grown up. <laughs> I think this look is super cute. I'm not used to having this much pink on my face. That's what she said. But I think it turned out adorable, and I can't wait for you guys to see the next few looks. Not saying they have anything to do with this one, but kind of totally saying they have something to do with this one. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for my Blossom look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. I think this is a really cute look that you can wear, honestly, anytime. It doesn't even have to be for Halloween. If you just want something cute, this could work for Valentine's Day. This could work for any day. But anyway, thank you so much for tuning in to another day of Pompoween. I hope I'll see you again tomorrow for another Halloween tutorial. Thank you to all my patrons who support me. If you want to see behind the scenes of Pompoween, then be sure to check out my Patreon. I have extra videos up on there. I have behind the scenes. So if 31 videos aren't enough for you, be sure to check out the Patreon. You won't regret it. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.